reloading blocks. What the hell are they and do I need them? Um, and the type of reloading we're going to do, where we're going through each single stage and process, um, reloading blocks are very useful, very handy, and they kind of add a measure of safety to the whole process reloader. And you can get them in different sizes, and I'll go over how, how I use them and, and why it's, it's a good idea. Uh, basically loading these old military rifle cartridges, I'm really not going to load more than 50 or 100 at a time. This tray holds 50 rounds, basically. And these here are reloading blocks specifically for pistols. This one here is a universal loading block. And if you notice, it has different size holes in it. And how it works is, you know, this one series of holes holds, like a, this is at 7.7 .7 jack, 30 out 6, 308. And then these smaller holes, like for 223, holds them like, see, they'd be like loose, too small. So you can put your smaller rifles. So this is a universal one. Um, and you can use either or. And I think on the back side it's got stuff for 45. These blocks here, you can get them from Midway, and they're more or less made for a specific caliber. Like these here, I believe, are 38, 57 magnets. And the holes are drilled the right diameter so there's not much movement, and the right height to where you can get them. This is a 40 mil or 40 caliber. And see, it's it's too short and it'd be difficult to pick it up in that. So this block here I believe was made for 45 ACP but as you see it's a little bit shorter, the hole isn't drilled as deep and it's much more easier to get the shorter little case. And not. Now what you do is if you're using a progressive reloader you're not going to need any of this. this okay. But when you're going from one stage to the other, like full length resizing, priming, then you're going to charge with a powder charger to load. It's a good practice to use these because A, your cases are stable on your table. You can pick them up, you know, if you're careful, and go from one part of the bench to the other without dumping them, spilling them, or keeping them organized. And it's pretty convenient. How you'd use it more or less in a safe, for safety reasons is like when you're going to sit down, oh, I'm going to reload, I'm going to spend the whole morning or afternoon reloading. Somebody always interrupts you. Somebody always calls or it's a problem or whatever. So how I use them and how it kind of helps me with anything like that is we'll go over here. And like when I was doing the video on a sizing, we have our sizer here, I put the brass to be sized out here, spray it with the lubricant, and as I sized each case, put it in a reloading block, you know, or actually put the reloading block a distance away, over here or something else, crap out of the way. So in other words, you know, cases here have not been sized, cases here in the block have been sized. You're in the middle of something, phone rings, somebody calls, and that way you don't screw up and either, you know, you break, you don't break your sequence. When you're reloading, you want to kind of have habits, or like fail-safes, where if there's an interruption or something happens, you don't get things mixed up. And also say, all right, so say we're done, we're done with the sizing. And we're going to go to prime them. Well, once you prime them, there's a primer in this one, turn them upside down. And as you prime each one, you keep track of what's primed and what's not. Then, you know, you'll have a whole case, and you'll see in the block, all my cases are sized and primed. Okay, now we're going to go, and we're going to charge them. And with a rifle, getting a double charge or something, it's kind of difficult because usually the charges, if you double charge a rifle case, depending on the powder, 
it'll overflow and you'll know. But uh, if you're using for handguns like uh, I like to use three grains of bullseye in a 38 special. You may be able to double charge and not notice it. Plus, you know, you can hold this up and look down and see the powder levels in that. So a good habit is you take a prime case when they're all prime, charge it, and then set it here. And then you keep track. And if anyone disturbs you or whatever, you know, you can keep track. And I'll show you in the process as we go on the different steps how to use this. So it is kind of a handy item. It's a good thing to have and get in a good safe practice by using these little tools.